Hey guys, it's Mr. Shelsey here and welcome to another AS Monaco series episode. This is the Coupe de France final against FC Metz and it is episode 27. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Um, thank you for the support on the previous episode, the end of season review. I actually like put a lot of effort into it so I'm glad, you know, it's got quite a few views and stuff. Um, anyway, let's get into this. Today's starting lineup will be Soma, Klebert right back, Matip and Papadopoulos. I've brought him back in for this cup final because it will probably be his last game for the club. Um, so yeah, there's that. Hopefully he doesn't get sent off and, you know, destroy all our fans' hopes. Hashi will come back into the left-back position. Um, I have been playing 4A there. He's been playing well. Um, but yeah, Hashi comes back in. I'm not sure if he's... Yeah, you know, he's fully fit, so that's decent. All right, our midfielder pair today will be Ulrich and Matinho with Kanga sitting in front of them as our advanced playmaker. Wingers today are Ersterprak and Akampos. And up front, Gomez. If you haven't seen the previous episode, Gomez actually scored a brace late on against PSG to actually get us into the final. And um, yeah, that's given him the starting berth today. Hopefully he can take it with both hands and impress me. Our bench today is Steele, Foré, Neil Scott, Tesserin, Gonzalez, uh, Charles Bassi, and of course, Aubameyang, the um, French Golden and Boot winner. Oh, the League One Golden Boot winner, I should say. So let's advance now. I don't really know any of uh, FC Messi's player, players. Um, yeah, have no idea. Um, maybe in, in Durham. Perhaps, I don't know. Anyway, who who cares? I'm, I'm expecting us to play them off the park today. Um, uh, what should I do? I'm not sure. Um... Maybe that one. I expect a win. And I'll just passionately say... Yeah. I never really do these types of team talks, so I feel like today, you know, it is a cup final. I'm going to tell them I have faith and we'll, you know, start the match. Hopefully on, a, on like, yeah, the right foot. Anyway, obviously the pointless highlight. And that's out of the way. Carasso to take their goal kick. Plays it short. And hopefully we can win the ball, but no. Gabato. Back to Rendurum. Spreading the ball pretty nicely, uh, FC Messi. And Guidez is past him. Angeloma. Yeah, Matip clears. To be expected, he is a unit in that back line. An absolute tank. Kenge comes forward. Our actually, uh, our, sorry, not our actually, our best performer this season, as I showed you in the previous episode. Uh, which was 20 minutes long. Kang out. Ooh, that was pretty close. Decent pressure so far. Four minutes in. Five minutes in, I should say. Gomez gets an offside against him. Yeah, not many highlights so far. And Hashi's picked up a knock. Ulrich got a yellow. Matinho got a yellow. So both my central midfielders are actually on yellow cards at the moment, which is, you know, never good. And that's a poor kick straight to Ulrich Kanga. Can he play it to Ersteprak? He can. Cross. Gomez. Goal! Oh, it's offside. It's offside. That's disappointing. Good to see, though. Very good cross to Gomez, even though he was offside. Um, he could have, you know, opened the scoring for us there in the, in the Coupe de France final. But it wasn't to be. Now, Ersteprax picked up a yellow card, so... Already got three players on yellows. Um, all fairly... Yeah, none of my defenders have picked up a yellow card yet, which is... Interesting. I'm going to say that, and we'll go... Whatever my assistant feels, like you should say. Don't even know who my assistant is, actually. Alright, Matinho free kick. Matip. Papadopoulos, possibly his last game for the club. Second goal of the season, and it comes in the Coupe de France final. Get in, two minutes after halftime. Exactly what I like to see. And he actually seems aggressive. And Kanga has picked up a knock here. And I don't know what I just did then, but I clicked something. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to bring Kanga off at Campos. And he'll swap with Bassi. Because Campos is essentially the only other player, apart from Matinho who can play there. I want to get Bassi on. He's quite dangerous. 
So hopefully that, you know, pays off. Ulrich. Oh, Kang is still picked up a knock. Can he play the ball forward? Gomez is in behind. Gomez, one-on-one. -on -one. Shoots, but it's saved. Poor, poor finish. We do get a corner out of it, though. And the subs have been... Well, they haven't actually been taking place. They haven't taken place yet. Kang is still out in the field, despite taking his knock. I could leave him on the field, but that's... Oh! That's not really a wise decision. You know, I really don't want him to pick up a massive injury that could, you know, hinder his career at any way. Because I really need him for the next, you know, three or four seasons. But we are 64 minutes in now. And, yeah. Gomez, he hasn't been too impressive. Scored, you know, had one goal disallowed. But we're going to bring a Bormiang off the bench, hopefully to absolutely wreck them. Papadopoulos, Papadopoulos with his second of the game. In, like I said, possibly his last game for the club. I mean, he's showing me all the right reasons of, you know, of to make me keep him, essentially. This is brilliant. 2-0 up. Game's almost over. And there's my dog barking. And he's probably seen another dog outside, so I apologise for him barking. But we are about to actually win the Coupe de France. Matinho with a free kick now. And there we go. Full time. The confetti falls. It's all over. We have won the Coupe de France. Impressive victory. Papadopoulos, man of the match. And I'm very happy with that. I'm not very happy with my dog barking in the background, however. So, yeah. That is it, guys. Cup glory. We've won the domestic cup. It's actually the first time we've won the Coupe de France. Um, we have won the Coupe de Ligue and the Trophy des Champions before. So this is a new new cup that we've actually won. I'm very proud to actually win it. Still haven't won uh, League One yet or a continental competition, um, which is why the series is going to continue, guys. Um, I do love this team. You know, I'm quite attached to it. Had a save on uh, Football Manager 2013 with them as well, which was pretty decent. Um, and yeah, if you've enjoyed the episode and the 2-0 uh, Cup victory, please give the video a like rating, guys, and a favourite as well if you could. That would be amazing. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with the pre-season episode, which will be coming very soon, I, I assure you. And yeah, apart from that, guys, take it easy and goodbye.